YouTube Sam here well uh, I'm working on my RV go check out those videos if you want to see why I'm doing this um, but basically I had this done at O'Reilly's and it wasn't crimped all, crimped all that great I don't think they did a very good job but in the other hand they will sell you this by the foot and they will put ends on it for you if you are buying the end so if you don't have the ability to do it yourself then um, then they will do it for you on the other hand I'm gonna try and do it homemade and maybe I'll be able to show you how to do it yourself we'll see how well it works out I've tried this one other time and it actually worked out okay but I'm using a little bit different tools than I was last time I can't can't find everything I had last time and I don't remember exactly how I did it to be honest so I'm just kinda of winging it here uh, but like I said go check out my video if you want to know more about my RV and what I'm doing with the 6 volt batteries on that but for this video, I made this too long for what I'm doing, so I'm going to cut this off, and I'm going to put crimp a new end on there, so we'll see. Uh, you're going to need something to cut these, because I tried cutting this with just like a, a pair of regular, uh, some pretty good sized cutters here, and I couldn't get it with that. But again, go to O'Reilly's. They might even rent this tool, I don't know. But they'll cut. Next thing, stripping it. Yet again, uh... Strippers like this are not going to work. So basically what you're going to have to do is slice it with a knife like I'm about to do here and kind of cut it all the way around or they also sell stripping tools and they will strip it for you as well um, with their tools. So. I'm going to go a little bit more than that. Let's see how far down I need to go. Once you get this stripped the way you want it, well, you should be able to kind of peel it back. And kind of like flying a fish, keep your fingers away from it. And work your way around here. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and do it half at a time here. I'm trying not to uh, cut into any of the strands. I want to keep as many of the strands as I can here. I also don't want to strip it too far down where I got a bunch of wires hanging out. I'm hoping you guys can see this. Probably kind of getting on the way here. There we go. Alright, now I'm going to set it up and we'll get to the next part. Alright, and then I got this, uh, well, I call it a all purpose dolly uh, for doing body work. And I'm actually going to use this inside piece as kind of a holder. And I'm going to stick that there inside my vise and hope. That that'll kind of hold things in, there. in here. We got that. We got our end here. We're just gonna take and stick that on in there and hope we have the right size. Now here's something you need to make sure that when where your end is here, when you that it's straight across and flat, so that they match for whatever it is you're doing. All right, so got that piece and that piece lined up. And take it, and knock it on there. There we go. We're pretty good on there. Now I'm gonna stick this in here. And then I got several punches, and you want something with a fairly dull end, but maybe with a little bit more of a round part than that. I'm thinking that one looks pretty good too. I don't even know what all these things are. I know this one is a just a regular punch. And I'm going to take that, set it right where it needs to be. You know, you probably can't totally see this. And I got a pretty good sized hammer here. And I'm just going to go to town. I'm just going to give it one whack first just to kind of see what happens. 
Well, not a whole lot. Let's do it again. There you go. That is got a pretty good divot in there. This kind of brings it around so it's flat in there. In fact, I'm going to get my other hammer and flatten that out a little bit more. Yeah, it's not perfectly crimped here. I'm going to take this one here and maybe go a little bit higher up. Bring this forward a little bit more so it's hanging off the edge. We don't bend it up so much. I'll give it another whack here. Okay. That seems like it's on there pretty darn good. I'm going to go ahead and take this, give it a little bit of a crimp to see if I can crimp it sideways a little bit here. Hopefully I don't mess up everything I've done here. I'm hoping this will kind of be this so it squishes in on itself here a little bit. But I might also be opening it up in the back here a little bit. Alright, I think that did pretty well. Another thing you can do is solder these. Um, I thought about doing that, but I don't know. Just didn't didn't want to feel didn't feel like doing it more than didn't want to do it. Um, so I think that'll work. I'm pretty happy with that. If we have any problems with it in the future, you'll know. I'll do a video on anything that doesn't that does, doesn't work after a while. If for some reason something doesn't work. This isn't going to be, you know, pulled on, taken off and on a whole lot, so hopefully that'll do it. Now i got to get it back on my trailer, finish it up. Go check out that video. Alright, this is Sam, Jack of all, Master of none. Y'all have a good one.